Hey, what is up guys? I'm Greg Builds, and welcome to this Minecraft build tutorial. On this episode, we're going to create an easy to build castle house. And this castle house is great for survival Minecraft, as it's made from easy to gather materials. This house has three floors in its compact design, along with four decks at the second level, as well as an upper level workspace on the roof. Now this build is broken down into nine steps, and without further ado, let's start the build. Also, this castle house is roughly 13 by 16 blocks wide, and it is seven blocks tall. And here's a complete list of the materials you'll need to build this house. Also, this entire build project will require a 13 block area by 16 block area of spacing. And I marked my area out with dirt, and you can do the same. That way you know how big the layout is before we start the build. Step 1. First let's install the four main stone walls. We'll need 168 stone blocks. At the front left corner of the marked out area, move over 4 spaces. Then move back an additional 3 spaces and place a block on the additional third space back. Then we can make a road that is seven blocks wide. Then make the other side seven blocks wide as well. Then we can connect the 7x7 seven seven square. Then let's add 6 additional blocks on top. So this wall will be a total of 7 blocks tall. Step 2. Next is adding the oak walls for the first level. We'll need 108 oak planks. Start by moving over one space, then clear a 3 tall by 5 wide opening. Then we can line the edge with oak planks. Then add 2 more additional planks to the existing pattern. Then we can repeat this pattern on all four sides. To refresh, move over one space, then clear a three tall by five wide opening. And line the inner side with oak planks. Next add two more additional oak planks to the existing oak pattern. Then let's repeat this two more times. Step 3. Next let's work on the upper decks. We'll need 44 cobblestone slabs and 44 oak fence posts. First let's add cobblestone slabs to this side of the oak planks. And we can wrap these all the way around. Then let's add oak fence posts on top of the cobblestone slabs. Then let's repeat for each section. To refresh, add cobblestone slabs at the side of the oak planks, and wrap these around to the other side. Then we can add oak fence posts on top. Then we can repeat for the other two sections. Thank you. 
Step 4. Next let's work on the back stairway. We'll need 8 oak logs, 12 cobblestone blocks, and 9 oak stairs. Moving to the back of the house, let's make a log column that lines up with the oak wall. Clear the fence post in a cobblestone slab. Then make a log column 4 blocks tall. Then we can make another 4 tall log column. And make sure this one lines up with the oak planks in the back. Then clear the 3 oak fence posts in the center. Then let's add 3 cobblestone blocks after the log column. Then 2 more in front of that, and then 1 more. Then let's add 3 cobblestone blocks in front of the other log column. Then a column of 2, and then a single. Then we can fill in the center with oak stairs. Step 5. Next let's add in the first floor doors and flooring. We'll need 4 white glass blocks, 12 white glass panes, 1 oak door, 43 oak planks, and 27 stone blocks. First let's replace the grass under the oak doorways with stone blocks. Then we can replace the side openings with stone blocks as well. Then repeat for the side over here. Then let's replace the rest of the grass with oak planks. Then at the front of the house, let's add glass blocks to the third stone block back. Then we can add another column of glass on this side, and add an oak door in the center. Next we can add white glass panes on the two side walls. Step 6. Next let's work on the second floor and windows. We'll need 4 oak doors, 8 white glass panes, 25 oak planks, and 12 oak slabs. Inside the house of the third block up, let's add the second floor. And we can fill it with oak planks. Then once the floor is completed, let's clear an opening 2 blocks tall in the center and we can clear two blocks at the center of each wall. Then we can install an oak door in each of the openings. Then after that, we can move over one space from the door and clear a block. Then add a glass pane. Then we can move over one more space from the door and add another glass pane. Then we can add three oak slabs above the doorway. Then let's repeat for the other three sides. Step 7. Next is the third floor and roof. We'll need 37 oak planks, 12 oak fence posts, 6 ladders, 1 trap door, and 3 oak doors. Starting at the second level of the house, move up an additional 3 blocks. And add in oak planks. And this will be the third floor. Then we can fill across to the other side. Next let's add details of the roof line. And we can do this by removing every other stone block and filling the empty space with an oak fence post. And this will help make the house look more like a castle.
Then we can head down to the first floor. And in here we can add an interior wall on the right side. And then we can add an interior wall on the left side as well. And this will make two smaller rooms. Also, it's a good idea to add torches, as it can get dark very quickly. We can then add a wall along the back side. And then we can add in three oak doors. Then let's move over space from the door and make a ladder that extends to the roof. Then on top of the roof, we can add a trap door on top of the ladders. Step 8. Next we can add in the landscaping. We'll need 12 oak leaves. Now I'm going to place 3 oak leaves around the corners of the house. However, you can get as elaborate as you would like. Also, once completed, I'm going to remove the outline. Now for an extra option, you can also add in a cobblestone wall section and a slab on top. And you can do this for each corner of the house, and this will help add extra detail. However, I'm going to leave this cobblestone additions off of my build, but I'll leave this completely up to you for yours. Step 9. Lastly is the interior, and I'll leave this completely up to you. However, I'll quickly show you how I did mine. Thanks for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions about the build or would like to leave some feedback, I'd love to hear it. Also, make sure to subscribe because I create build tutorials just like this one every week. I'll catch you in the next one. Later guys! Want more build tutorials? I have many other playlists that might interest you on my channel. Make sure to check them out!